G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel today. We're gonna to be taking a look at some players throughout the 2021 AFL season who proved us wrong. So if it's not clear, what that means is a player that people had perhaps written off or thought weren't going to perform that well this year, and that player has exceeded expectations significantly. Those are the sorts of players I'll be focusing on in today's video. Every year there are players that exceed expectations. In particular, a lot of older players seem to sort of bob up and have a career nobody really expected. And this list is gonna include players like that, but it's also gonna include players that people just didn't know were that good. So you know the drill, subscribe if you haven't already, like the video if you enjoy it, and let's get into the video. Now, the first player on this list that we're gonna talk about is of course, none other than Taylor Walker of the Adelaide Crows. And we do know that Tex Walker was a real gun forward of the competition a few years ago, in particular around that 2017 period where Adelaide were right in contention. But as Adelaide's dropped off, his form has also to some extent. He dipped a bit in the 2018 season, but came back fairly strongly in 2019, kicking 43 goals from 22 games. But in 2020, Taylor Walker averaged just seven and a half disposals and the goal a game from 14 games. That's definitely a poor return for a player as prominent and as talented as Taylor Walker. And of course, he's an on-field leader and the Crows even plummeted to their first wooden spoon that season. Now, of course, he was about 30 years old. So when a player around that age starts to dip in form, people start to think the end is nigh. But he came into 2021 with vengeance, kicking five goals in the first round against Geelong as Adelaide upset the Cats. He then backed that up with bags of six against Gold Coast and Sydney, and he was suddenly a favorite for the Coleman medal. He still currently sits second in the Coleman overall with 46 goals and is considered an absolute lock for an All-Australian jumper. The next player we're gonna nominate is Jaden Stevenson of the North Melbourne Footy Club. And as we know, Jaden Stevenson was pick six back in the 2018 draft. He was a rising star winner in his first year in 2018 as he kicked 38 goals in a side that almost won the premiership. But he somewhat misfired in 2020, kicking just 14 goals from 14 games, and he was thrown inexplicably on the scrap heap by the Collingwood Footy Club. Now, it was a very well-documented but bizarre off-season strategy from the Pies trading out players as a bit of a salary cap dump, and Jaden Stevenson was one of those, and he was basically traded for a second-round pick. Now, after understandably taking a little while to find his feet at a new club that is currently sitting 18th on the ladder, Stevenson has put in some of his best performance as a midfielder. These include career best numbers in clearances, inside 50s, and rebound 50s. His best performance of the year was undoubtedly against the West Coast Eagles in which he had 38 possessions and a goal in a crucial win. There's little doubt, in my opinion, that people are gonna look back on the Jaden Stevenson trade to North Melbourne and scratch their heads at what the hell was Collingwood doing. The third player who proved people wrong in 2021 is Tom Hickey. And Tom Hickey is no doubt one of your classic journeyman ruckman. He's joined four clubs, joining Sydney after West Coast, after St. Kilda, after Gold Coast. Now he was excess to requirements at the Eagles with their ruck situation and Sydney identified a real need for a ruck on their list and pursued him. From an Eagles perspective, it didn't seem like a big loss, but but at the age of 30, he's putting together a career best season in a lot of stats. In addition to his 23 and a half hit outs a game, he's averaging 17 possessions a game and 5.3 clearances. He's been an important part of a quality side that is potentially going deep in September, and he's definitely proven a lot of doubters wrong. The next player that proved people wrong in 2021 is Nick Hind from Essendon. Of course, he started his career at the Essendon VFL side, was drafted to St. Kilda, then was traded back to the Essendon AFL team. He was a small pressure style forward at the Saints for a couple of seasons. And while he wasn't unsuccessful, he certainly wasn't a spud, few people would have seen this meteoric rise coming from him in 2021. He's been able to find a niche at the Dons as a small running pressure defender with his elite speed and creativity with the ball as well. To put it into context, he was averaging about 10 possessions a game across his two seasons at the Saints, but that's jumped to nearly 23 disposals along with six intercepts and 450 meters gained per game. It's been a rise that I'm sure even Bombers fans wouldn't really have expected in 2021. The next player we're nominating is David Mundy of the Fremantle Footy Club. And David Mundy's obviously been a star of the comp for most of the seven 17 or 18 years he's been playing at AFL level, but his ascension to elite status again in 2021 has taken just about everyone by surprise. While he was far from poor, his 2020 season averages were a fair way down on his normal career averages, and given his age, you could be forgiven for thinking the end of his career might be coming around the corner. Instead, Mundy started the 2021 AFL season just about in Brownlow medal form. He's having his best ever season in terms of inside 50s, and only Andrew Brayshaw gets more of the footy than Mundy does in the Fremantle midfield. While Mundy will go down undoubtedly as one of Fremantle's greatest ever players, if anyone thought he was over the hill going into 2021, they have definitely been proven wrong. 
The next player we're gonna nominate as proving the doubters wrong in 2021 would have to be Adelaide's Ben Keys. Ben Keys was of course delisted by the Brisbane Lions a couple of years ago, was redrafted by the Crows, and I'm sure few people would have believed that he could get to this level of performance so quickly. Having never completed a season averaging more than 16 possessions a game, Keys has exploded in 2021, averaging 28 possessions and nearly six clearances a game. He's ranked 11th in the entire league for total disposals, and he's also a top five tackler in the game. He's undoubtedly been one of the biggest breakout players for 2021, and the Crows have definitely been rewarded for showing faith in his potential. The seventh player we're gonna nominate as proving the doubters wrong in 2021 would have to be Essendon's Darcy Parrish, and Darcy Parrish would have to be one of the biggest surprise packets of the 2021 season. Having been drafted as a top five pick back in the 2015 draft, there's no doubt it took Parrish a little while to find his feet at AFL level. In fact, he'd never averaged more than 21 possessions a game in a single season going into 2021. Having finally been given full opportunity to play as a full-time midfielder this year, Darcy Parrish has exploded into Brownlow medal calculations. He's averaging 30 possessions a game along with six inside 50s and eight clearances. And I tell you what, at the end of last year, there was a lot of talk about doubts over Essendon's young future, but where we sit now with Darcy Parrish emerging as an elite mid, few people would be pushing that sort of narrative now. The eighth player in the league that I'm gonna nominate as proving people wrong in 2021 would be Josh Bruce of the Western Bulldogs. Now, Josh Bruce has been around for a while, obviously. Before he joined the Dogs, he played eight seasons at GWS and St. Kilda and had proven himself to be a quite serviceable player. He was traded to the Dogs a couple of years ago as they sought to pursue a genuine forward target in that team, but it didn't pan out so well with just 14 goals from 17 games in 2020. As such, a lot of doubts were raised around his future at AFL level, but in 2021, he certainly put those doubts to bed as he currently sits top five in the Coleman. The highlight of his season was undoubtedly a bag of 10 goals against North Melbourne, and he's currently on track to have his best season ever in terms of goals per game. Now, Josh Bruce, I'm sure, was a player that many people had written off as being AFL worthy, but with the dog sitting on top of the ladder at this point of the season, there's a small chance that Josh Bruce ends this year with a premiership medallion. All right, there you have it, guys. That is eight players who I believe in 2021 has proven the doubters wrong. If there's anyone that perhaps you don't agree with or that you think I've missed, certainly let me know in the comments and we'll get the discussion going. As always, guys, I ask you to like the video if you enjoy it, but also subscribe if you haven't already, trying to hit 15K. It would really mean a lot to me and I do genuinely hope you're enjoying all the content that uh, the channel's been putting out over the last couple of weeks. Make sure you keep an eye out for just the tips every week, of course, but also the True Footy Podcast with Caden McDonald, which I believe leave I should have uploaded by now. So go check that out. Subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys.